Now if you look closely at this picture, you'll see a lot of midgy things flying about, doing their little dance. It's over a pond actually. Now, obviously to them, their life, their activity and their little dance is very, very important. And in a way, it's in a completely different dimension to ours. And who's to say that their dance is less important than our dance? You know, we think we're so important, but they think they're so important. Who's to be the judge? And another thing about it, they're very small. So what size are their brains? Hmm? Very small. You know, uh, thinking about computer technology, how small everything's getting, you know, a computer on a mobile phone. Well, it's not surprising, really, when you think of a midge or, or even things that are much smaller, the size of their brains. And yet they can still uh, command functions and presumably take some initiatives as well as as well as um, working as automatons it's an interesting area of discussion one which i'm rather intrigued with at the moment and so you've got dna and you've got the strings you've got the uh, <coughs> connections between the double helix of dna which are apparently made up of different chemicals or some sort of elements or something um, uh, have those little midges got those little DNAs and how small those little elements must be in those strings between the two uh, helixes um, you know I'll go on to what I'm going on to in the next video in another video anyway bye for now Thank you.